March 24, 9 o'clock, Central Jury Room, Hood County Justice Center, 2000 West Pearl Street. Uh, at this time, I'd like to call the meeting to order. Judge Cochran is out of town, so I'm standing in for him this morning. This time, I'd like to ask uh, Maurice Simpson to come up and do the invocation. Please rise. <clears throat> Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we come once again, uh, give you praises, and thank you, Father. Thank you for this day and this opportunity. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to gather here together with the leaders of this county and listen to them as they try to figure out the way that we can go and should go. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you continue to, to give us the leadership that we have and to strengthen them so that they can continue to do what they do so well. Father, we ask for protection for our troops throughout the world, wherever they are, and that they might return home safely, Father. And Father, we ask for your protection of this great nation. We ask this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Simpson. Y'all join me in pledge allegiance to this great nation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Join me in the Pledge of Texas. On I the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. All right, we have special presentations this morning, and the first one we'll do is our employees. Uh, Richard, do we have uh, special presentations for some employees? We go to the podium and announce those three. I believe the sheriff has a couple, and so does Shelly, I believe. Sheriff, if you'll come forward. to Ann Brown for 10 years of service. Captain Brown. Thank you. Also for 10 years of service, we have Lynn McDonald. Service Division of Adult Probation, uh, Shelley Berry, if you'll come up and present. Suzanne Morton. 15 years. special presentations we have uh, two proclamations this morning our first one is a veterans mental health proclamation and we have some people here that's going to receive this after the court reads it and accepts it at this time I think uh, Commissioner Barton is going to read the proclamation proclamation whereas tens of millions of Americans have served in the armed forces of the United States during the past century and whereas the contributions and sacrifices of these men and women who served in the armed forces have been vital in maintaining the freedoms and way of life enjoyed by the people of the United States. And whereas all too often service members return to their civilian lives affected by mental health challenges 
and lack the resources or support to obtain the help needed to gain control of their post-military lifestyle. An astonishing 20% of service members returning from Iraq and Afghanistan struggle with symptoms of PTSD, thus connecting them to their peers and agencies that can assist with their unmet needs at the time is imperative. And whereas local veteran organizations, Pecan Valley Centers for Behavioral and Developmental Health Care, Military Veteran Peer Network, and the Wounded Heroes of Texas see the need to better serve these veterans and have partnered together to raise funds and awareness for local veterans struggling in our communities. <clears throat> and whereas these veterans serving collaborations have spearheaded an event entitled Rally Round Our Heroes and Run to B-A-T-I-W-O-W set to occur on the second and weekend in April. The event will be used to bring awareness to invisible wounds of war and support veterans in our local area. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Darrell Cockrell, County Judge of Hood County, and the members of Commissioner's Court do hereby declare our appreciation to the members of these veterans serving agencies and proclaim the second weekend of April 2015 as Veteran Mental Health Awareness Weekend in Hood County. I encourage all citizens to join us in recognizing the declaration and hard work of each person in these organizations as they work together to ensure better services for our local veterans. Given under my hand and the seal of Hood County on this 24th day of March 2015, Daryl Cockrum, County Judge. Thank you, Commissioner Barton. I'll entertain a motion and a second to approve this proclamation. It's so moved. Commissioner Deaver, do I hear a second? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Tout. All in favor say aye. 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 So, Pass 4 0 with the judge being absent. Commissioner Barton, if you'll present it, I have uh, Robin Greer's here, Molly Mayberry, and Coke Beatty, and y'all can introduce your uh, other people that's with you there if you don't mind, Robin. Go ahead, Commissioner Barton. Robin's got a few words she'd like to say, I believe. Thank you, Commissioner Barry. I have with me Chuck Perry, who is the CEO of Wounded Heroes of Texas. <clears throat> and first, I would like to thank you and thank the county ju judge for uh, committing to do this proclamation for us. In the United States, 22 veterans a day take their own life. Not every veteran who comes home from war comes home with PTSD but every veteran does come home with some kind of mental health issue. Because of this, one veteran every 68 minutes takes their own life. A big factor in that is depression. So we have teamed together with Wounded Heroes of Texas to come up with a way to help these veterans get past their depression and provide them with a little help. And the whole purpose to our program um, and our rally that we'll be having in April is to bring services here to Hood County, a plethora of services, so that the veterans can come and see what's actually out there and available and that there really is hope and that they are not alone. It is our hope that this will help alleviate some of the depression and stop the tragic deaths of our veterans. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Well, Y'all turn around, we'll get a picture there as well. So. I think there's one more, I think. One phone. No, one more. She's got a phone. Oh, one more. <laughs> Sure. With this, I would like to give each of you, and I've included one for the county judge as well, a special pen. Okay. This pen contains a phone number, so if you encounter a veteran that you feel could use our services or any service, the phone number's on there and it goes straight to me, and I will get them who they need to get to. Thank you, Robin. We appreciate it. Cole and Molly, thank you all for being here.
Our second proclamation this morning is uh, Child Abuse Awareness Month. Commissioner Deaver, will you read that for us? Sure. Child Abu Abuse Awareness Month in Hood County, April 2015. Whereas child abuse and neglect is a complex and ongoing problem in our society, affecting many, many children in Hood County. And whereas every child is entitled to be loved, cared for, nurtured, feel secure, and be and be free from verbal, sexual, emotional, and physical abuse and neglect. And whereas it is responsibility of every adult who comes in contact with a child to protect that child and that will be right to be safe in nurturing childhood. And whereas Hood County has dedicated individuals and organizations who work daily to counter the problems of child maltreatment and to help parents obtain the assistance they need. And whereas our community are stronger when all citizens become aware of child maltreatment prevention and become involved in supporting parents to raise their children in a safe environment. And whereas all citizens, community agencies, faith organizations, and businesses will work to increase their, their efforts to support <coughs> families. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Darrell Cockrum, Hood County Judge, and the members of the Commissioner's Court do hereby proclaim April as Child Abuse Awareness Month in Hood County, Texas, and command this, op this op observation during April 2015 to the citizens of Hood County on this day, 24th day of March, 2015. Thank you, Commissioner Deaver. I'll entertain a motion and a second to accept this proclamation. So moved. Motion made by Commissioner Tout, seconded by Commissioner Barton. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign, passes 4-0. I don't see Francis Squires in the audience, but we'll make sure that uh, that group gets it. I think it's cash for kids that they do, uh, so Francis will pick this up. Thank you, Commissioner Deaver. If any citizen has uh, any item they'd like to speak on that's on the agenda, uh, Biff Temple from the Sheriff's Department's in the back. He'll have a form you can fill out. At this time, we'll move into our consent agenda. Is there any item on the consent agenda that any member of the court would like to take off and discuss? If not, I'd like to discuss F. We don't really have to take it off unless the court would like to, but the way church is donating $500, I'd like to put that in that employee fund. That way the money gets used for some type of employee benefit instead of just going to the general fund. I agree with that. So if anyone wants to take that off and do that separately, if not, as long as the treasurer and Stan are good with that, we'll leave it as it is on the consent agenda. Okay. Not hearing any other, I'll need a motion and a second for the consent agenda, please. Motion to approve the consent agenda. Motion by Commissioner Deaver. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Taup. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Passes 4-0. Thank you. Going into uh, Section 8, our business to discuss on subdivision roads and plats. We have no road operation or development compliance. Uh, I think Don Lenny has gone to Was uh, Washington, he needs to go to Washington, <laughs> to Austin this morning to testify before a bill that Senator Burgos put up in favor for the Commissioner's Court. So Don's in Austin this morning. Next part is budget and finance. Uh, Stan McBroom, will you present this? Good morning, Commissioners. I don't have any budget amendments today. That's good. The next item being the uh, proposed expenditures for your consideration. Uh, the total of these expenditures on that list come to $449,243.02. Uh, some of the larger items are beginning at the top alphabetically. Ben E. Keith Company for Jail Groceries, $18,122.49. To Big Red's Equipment Sales. Uh, for road ops equipment purchases, $15,318. To Brinkley Sargent Architects, these are the architects for the YMCA, $98,731.19. To Caldwell Country Ford, for the purchase of a sheriff vehicle, $24,345. To Hood County Committee on Aging, a quarterly subsidy payment in the amount of $18,000. $750, and to uh, the Law Offices of Ken Ramirez, $16,285.40. That is uh, for the permit protest of the Brazos River Authority. To McGee Architects, I believe this is the final bill on animal control. This will wrap up all of that project. 
uh, for architectural services, $14,223.85. To Somerville County, for housing jail inmates, $24,244. And to Vulcan Materials Company, for Rodops material purchases, $19,007.48. Then to YMCA Metropolitan of Fort Worth, $18,945.66. About half of that is to pay for City of Granbury inspections and the other half for the City of Granbury engineering fees. You, call that, you said that was a YMCA, I mean, so you're, but that's the funding that's going to build that building is what you're saying, correct? Yes, that's correct. That's how you've got it logged, it's a YMCA building. Okay, thank you. Are there any discussions on payment of the bills? If not, I'll entertain a motion to ratify payment of the bills. So moved. Motion made by Commissioner Barton. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Deaver. Any more discussion on payment of the bills? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. And oppose. Passes 4 0. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Stan. Under miscellaneous, we'll start off. We have a short agenda today, but under the item one, consider and take a, appropriate action to approve appointment to the Hood County Library Advisory Board for 2015 through 2018 for Joel Back to replace Lisa Oliver, whose term has expired. Uh, Courtney Kincaid, our librarian, is in the audience, and Joel Back's also in the audience. Is there any discussion on this? I know that David Wells is out of town. I think he sent you an email, Commissioner Barton. Right. So he was not he was maybe here this morning, but he's out of town. I entertain a motion to accept Joel back as a replacement. So moved. Commissioner Barton makes the motion. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Tout. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Passes 4-0. Joel, thank you for being here. And Courtney, appreciate you being here. And good luck on the advisory board. We look forward to working with you. Item number two, consider and take appropriate action for a memorandum of understanding from Somerville County concerning protective action recommendation. Fire Marshal Ray Wilson will present. Commissioners, thank you for this time. Uh, this is a memorandum of understanding between Hood and Somerville County for the, uh, concerning the protective action recommendations uh, in the event of emergency at Comanche Peak. Uh, this would affect the 10 mile emergency planning zone. There are certain sectors that involve both counties. Uh, what we're asking is that once a verbal concurrence occurs between both county judges, uh, that a protective action should take place, then that would be done and Hood County would make that notification. Right, when you and I spoke this morning about this as well, and I read the uh, backup yesterday, it's really nothing new that we're already doing with Comanche Peak and Luminant and the two counties as far as our, our drills. It's a renewal of the 10 mile emergency planning and it's the evacuation orders, but it's an MOU between Judge Chambers and Judge Cochran for the two counties, correct? Correct. And that, it basically, it would make sure that uh, the notification is made and it would be done by one county so that it wouldn't get uh, passed over or missed by one, of, one or other county. And then I guess uh, it's, it's important to note that I think next Wednesday, a week from tomorrow, we'll have another practice drill or a pre-drill before the graded drill. Is that correct? Sure. Okay. And also, uh, the Somerville County Court has reviewed this and all members have signed it. So uh, Commissioner's Court several has already accepted this? Yes, sir. Thank you. Any member of the court have any discussion about this item? If not, I'll uh, accept the motion and second. So moved. Commissioner Deaver made the motion. Do I have a second to approve this uh, recommendation? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Barton. Any more discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. And all opposed, same sign. Passes 4-0. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Item number three, our treasurer, Ms. Davis. She has three items here. Item A is consider for approval of the extension of the depository contract with First Financial Bank for an additional two years, for July the 14th, 2017, and allow county judge to sign the letter of agreement for this extension. Ms. Davis. Good morning, commissioners. Our current uh, contract with First Financial Bank expires 715 of this year. The government code 116.021 allows the commissioner's court to extend that contract for an additional two years. However, if that is extended, if there are any changes to the contract, it must be accepted by the commissioner's court. The only changes that the bank has made at this time is a reduction in the interest rate, which we pretty much anticipated based on the existing interest rates today. Um, this new contract would then expire 714 of 2017, at which time would, we will have to go back out for a bit. Okay, so this is an extension of the existing contract with a, with a verbiage about the interest rate, correct? 
and Perch seems aware of this. I know that Nelda talked to me. Debbie's here today, but Nelda did mention. So we're, they're purchasing is satisfied. I've spoken with both the auditor and purchasing, and they are satisfied with the terms of the contract. That is all that's changed. Um, we are not going to incur any ex additional expenses or anything. They're going to continue our services for free. Your recommendation is accept? Yes, sir. I'll entertain a motion and a second to accept this recommendation by the treasurer on the extension of the contract. So moved. Motion made by Commissioner Tout. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Barton. Any more discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Say opposed, same sign, passes 4-0. Item B, consider and take appropriate action regarding the investment committee member of large. At last court, we uh, asked a five-member committee, I think Kathy brought this forward, and we in introduced a five-member committee for investment. One of those members would be the sixth member, I believe, at large, or seventh, maybe. And so we'll have a member at large, and I believe you want to talk about that. Uh, yes, sir. The committee met last Thursday, and at, we had a very productive meeting, went over the investment policy procedures, what is expected of the committee. We'll be happy to present our report to you all next commissioner's court. Um, at this time, all of us have been presented with a member of the public, Mr. Frank Kimmel. Some of you may know Frank from having been employed at Heritage Bank many years ago. Frank was the president there, I believe. He comes with a wealth of experience in investments, and I believe he will be very advantageous to this committee. And we have all agreed that Frank would be the committee member from the public if the court would allow this. Okay. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to ratify the appointment of Frank Kimmel as the uh, investment committee member at large. So, have, moved. so moved by Commissioner Deaver. Do I have a second? I second that. So I have Commissioner Deaver and myself seconding. Any discussion? I know that uh, Commissioner Barton and the judge are also members of that committee and Stan as well. Uh, if not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. same sign, passes 4-0. And our last item on item 3C, consider and take appropriate action to execute the ARTS agreement with TAC for an IRS reporting issue. Uh, yes, sir. We are still working with personnel and TAC to get this agreement from them. They are not prepared with the agreement at this time, so I'm asking that you waive on this agenda item. So we'll table time. this for the time being? Okay. I'll entertain a motion to table at the recommendation of the treasurer. So moved. So moved by Commissioner Deaver. Do I have a second? Second. Taken by Commissioner Barton. Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Passes 4-0. Thank you, Ms. Davis. Thank you. Item number four, consider and take appropriate action to authorize the county judge to sign a data use agreement between Texas Health and Human Services Enterprise in Hood County. County Clerk, Katie Lang. Katie, do you want to talk about Yeah, there she come. Thank you. Good morning, Commissioners. Um, I'd like to table this. I'd like to do some more research on it. Um, it's got a lot of wording in here, and I'd like to talk to the state about it. From what I've read, and I'll let Jeff speak if he'd like, but yesterday, uh, I know that for, some, for you that don't know, Ms. Casper's been in and out of her office with some uh, medical issues, and she's not had time to look at it as well, but it has to do with also electronic filing, and we looked at that. Was it also HIPAA involved? So, Commissioner Tout, do you have anything you want to say? You just want to yeah, table I it? I just want to table it until we get a little clarification on it. To come back at a later date? Is that what we want to do? Okay. All right. I'll entertain a motion and a second to table this agenda item four. So moved. Commissioner Tout made the motion. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Deaver. Is that right? Commissioner Tout made the motion. Commissioner Deaver made the second to table. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Passes 4-0. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. Item five, consider and take appropriate action regard, uh, to authorize the county judge to sign the letter with the Texas Comptroller of Public Assets Accounts requesting funds available to Hood County out of unclaimed capital credits. Stan, you want to talk about that? Or you, I mean, yeah. I have backup notes, but you can explain. I, we can explain to some that maybe knew what that is. In general, um, rural cooperatives um, have members, and each year of participation, those members, uh, when they qualify, they receive refunds of capital credits. Uh, for their participation. That's how they get their long-term financing. Um, there are 
some of those that go unclaimed. They attempt to pay the credits out year by year and they are unclaimed. The comptroller tracks those and makes it available to counties contingent on the county judge filing a letter and requesting to participate and receive those. Uh, once they are received, that money is uh, earmarked for uh, specific items. What the county has used it for in past years uh, has been economic development. Uh, you can use it for child advocacy, um, that type of thing, but what we've used it for in the past has been economic development. Uh, and we, we put that kind of in the line uh, where we carry um, tax revenues because that's, that's where we refund the taxes to folks like HEB and Kroger when we have a 381 agreement. Uh, and Section 381 is also a section dealing with economic development. Thank you, Stan. Uh, the judge has the letter here that he's written to the Texas Comptroller, and it's ready in his office to be signed and sent off after we authorize him to do that. So I'll entertain a motion and a second to allow the judge to sign this for the unclaimed credits. So, so, so moved by Commissioner Barton. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Deaver. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Passes 4-0. That's the end of our agenda. Does anyone have anything for the good of the general public? If not, we'll stand adjourned at 927.